Scalar from Plugin Boutique is an awesome MIDI composition tool for Pro Tools, especially for Pro Tools. It works in other DAWs as well, but it's great here in Pro Tools because Pro Tools doesn't have a lot of these MIDI options built in. In this video, we're just going to look at just the routing. If you want more in-depth videos, there's already two of those out there on this channel. So right now we have Scalar on an instrument track. It could be on an aux track, doesn't matter. And right now we are, of course, triggering sounds within Scalar. Even if I press my keyboard, let's go here to scales. We'll just grab the major scale. So of course, what we want to do is route this out to, in this case, we'll say contact. We'll go ahead and turn off the internal sounds of Scalar. Let's head over here, up here to where it says instrument. So to route Scalar to a different plugin on a different instrument track, come up here to your input for your MIDI. Use your drop down. We want Scalar out. That's going to be the MIDI output of Scalar. Usually all channels will be fine. From there, you want to choose the instrument uh, that you want to trigger. Now in this case, we have several instruments here in contact but we want to trigger channel one. So of course we set that to contact channel one. Now, if I want to play from within Scalar, I hit a chord here, not going to hear anything. So let me arm that track. So that way the MIDI knows to come into this track. And now, and of course we can use all of our options in here. And that is triggering the giant here. So let me move this over so you can see the keys uh, down there being triggered. Very good. If I wanted to trigger something else, obviously just change the channel and there you go. So that's triggering our strings in this case. So that's the basic way you set up Scalar. If you want to trigger something else and you want to use Scalar within Scalar, within the interface. So by that, I mean clicking or setting up your sequence down here. Now, if I press the key on my keyboard, we're not going to hear anything. Okay, that's because we don't have any MIDI from my keyboard coming in to whatever it is we are triggering. So in that case, on our scalar track here, on your MIDI input, either select all or select the exact keyboard you want to use. From there for the output, we're going to choose scalar channel one. It could be different channels if you have a need for that. So set it up just like that. Now I'm going to hit shift and record enable my scalar track as well. So now when I play my keyboard, the MIDI will come into this track here. It will trigger Scalar, okay? And that of course triggers this track right here and goes out to contact, in this case, to channel two. So I press the key on my keyboard. Now I hold on multiple keys. And that's of course because we have this arpeggio on. All right, right here, arpeggio and we are triggering the arpeggio. Now I could do something like MIDI bind, and that's going to bind this to this B section here. So now I can press down one key. Or I could take off arpeggio. Okay, and of course you can record that. So hit record. Good enough, right? Let's head over to our edit page, get these out of the way. And right here is our MIDI. This is the MIDI that we recorded directly from the keyboard onto Scalar. This is the MIDI that was spit out from Scalar. You can, of course, play that back. So you can go ahead and compose that way with Scalar if you want to use your keyboard and maybe you don't want to drag out your keys or your chords uh, from within uh, Scalar here. Okay, so that's the basics of setting it up. And now, if you would rather use MIDI tracks, you can do that as well. Let's put Scalar this time on an aux track, which it can be on either one of these. It can be an instrument track or an aux track. Same thing for your instruments. They can be on instrument tracks or, or aux tracks. So for this track right here, I already have it called Scalar MIDI. The input here I'm using is all. This is the MIDI coming in from my keyboard, okay? right here at the top. Right here, we are triggering again, Scalar channel one. Now from there, if I want to trigger contact, I can do it the same way here. I can just arm this track and shift select this track because we still have our Scalar out selected as the MIDI input and we still have channel two. I could make that channel one if I wanted to. Now I press the key on my keyboard. 
I'm of course triggering the giant. I can still use everything from within Scalar as well. Change the triad, change the arpeggio. Great. I can also, of course, use MIDI tracks to trigger any instrument I have, again, whether it's on an instrument track or an aux track. So in that case, what I might do, I already have these set up down here. I have piano, strings, and percussion. This is going out to contact. So for your input to these tracks, if you want to use MIDI tracks, for your input, choose Scalar Out. Again, all channels will usually work in here. For your dropdown, select whatever instrument you want to trigger with Scalar on that channel. If I wanted to do uh, Falcon or something, I could do that. So channel one for Falcon. I'm gonna shift click my record enable button. So now, whenever I press the key on my keyboard, Scalar is triggering Falcon. But let me set this up the way I want it. We'll do contact here. Channel one for the piano, same thing for the input on our strings channel. Scalar out is the input for our MIDI. Drop down here, this is going to channel two. Same thing for our percussion. This is going, scalar out is the input, okay, for our MIDI, all channels. Drop down, this is going to channel three in contact, which is right here, right there. You can of course select the proper output for that MIDI and send that wherever you want. So maybe to strobe, falcon, or whatever else you have loaded up. But we have that going to contact channel three. So now if I want to trigger the piano with scalar, I have my scalar track armed, okay? The scalar track is again the input of my MIDI keyboard. So whatever else I want to trigger, I'll just shift click that and there we go. Triggering the giant there. Turn that one off, shift click my strings there. Obviously I can bind that MIDI again to uh, B here. Or maybe bind it to A. Arpeggio. And obviously record that as we did previously. Okay. And lastly, if you want to, you could of course arm more than just the scalar track and whatever instrument you want to trigger. Okay. So I could arm the strings and say the piano and the percussion all at the same time if I wanted to. Take the arpeggio off. Let me arm the percussion at the same time. And that's with bind MIDI on there. We are triggering these chords right here. So with all of that, you should be able to compose from within Scalar here by clicking your chords. Obviously building up a sequence within Scalar as well. Dragging things out directly into Pro Tools to whatever track you want. Let me delete that. Or of course, dragging out all of your MIDI, your full sequence right into there, as you can see it down there, that full sequence. And of course, by using your MIDI keyboard. And arpeggio, and let's bind that MIDI. And obviously record as we showed just a minute ago. And lastly, one more time. If all you want to do is compose from within Scalar and you don't care about getting MIDI input from your MIDI keyboard, then you don't need this track right here, okay? You can disable your Scalar MIDI for the input from your MIDI keyboard. You don't need it because all you need to do is have your Scalar out set for the input of a MIDI channel or of course an instrument uh, track, all right? That's all you need. And then arm that track, we can arm it up here. And then we can press the chords from within Scalar. All right, so just remember that if you wanna use your keyboard, make sure you actually have MIDI coming in to Scalar and then going out from Scalar and back in to your track.
That's really all there is to it. All right, so that is setting up Scalar here in Pro Tools. You can really unleash the power of MIDI in Pro Tools once you get Scalar. So go check it out at PluginBoutique.com.